Hi, I'm Jenny Dubnow, and I work with the Artist Studio Affordability Project. Um, and I'm going to put out a plea for artists to become policy experts and become engaged with policy. Neo-fascists just won in Washington. But we're dealing with neoliberal policies in this city that cause displacement. And unfortunately, the arts have been pulled into that problematic situation. And I think one of the best ways for us to push back against what's happening nationally in our country is to get locally active, concretely locally active. I'd like to see artists become citizen activists. I'd like to see artists confront gentrification because we are being displaced. I'd like to see artists and arts institutions confront the ways we are used by real estate developers to displace others poor communities, communities of color, and working industry in our industrial zones. I'd like to see artists start to understand actual policy. I'd like to see us join with communities like Alicia Boyd of BAN, who just spoke, as artists to confront policies of displacement and to fight for policies that mitigate it. We need to understand the impact of the rezonings that Alicia spoke about. These rezonings are changing our communities rapidly in New York City. The displacement is racist, it displaces poor people, and it also displaces artists. We have common ground to fight there. There's a bill in the city council right now that would create commercial rent regulation. How many artists would be able to stay in their workspaces? How many mom and pop stores would be, would be able to stay? How many communities would become more whole if this commercial rent regulation passed? As artists, we need to start pressuring concretely our elected officials to do the right thing. We need to get concrete. We need to understand policy. We need to understand acronyms like MIHZQA, SBJSA, that's the bill in the city council that would protect, create some commercial rent regulation. We need to understand rent control policy. We need to call out our institutions like the Brooklyn Museum last year, which hosted a real estate conference, which displaces the very artists and communities that they're supposed to serve. We, we also need to start be thinking concretely about something else that's happening in this city. There's a New York City cultural plan which is being put into place. It's going to be rolled out in the late spring, early summer. As working artists in this city, what do we want that cultural plan to say for us? Can we start to question the public-private um, bedfellows that we just have taken for granted as neoliberal policy in this city? For example, why are two of the consulting partners on this cultural plan, which is in formation now, real estate firms, real estate advisement firms? Why? Can't we question that? I think we should. Um, keep your eyes out for organizing that's going to be happening around this cultural plan. I think we need to start getting very, very concrete. And that's how we're going to build bridges in the city for resistance against what's happening locally, but also what's happening nationally. Um, the Artist Studio Affordability Project can be found online, and you can talk to me. I'll be hanging out. Thank you so much.